content subtraction Once there were two friends, a circle and a rectangle. They both used to go to school together as they were in the same class. But one day as rectangle was not feeling good, she could not attend the class. The next day, when she met her friend's circle and asked her about the maths class, she said that we did the subtraction of four digit numbers properties and the word problems of the same hey circle how are you i am fine but tell me how are you well i'm feeling good right now okay that's good hey circle could you please tell me what did sir teach in the last lecture of maths yes we did learn the subtraction chapter in detail also sir has given us homework okay what did you learn in that chapter subtraction of four digit numbers properties of subtraction and word problems oh well i don't know these chapters could you please help me in understanding this chapter yes sure this way i can even complete my homework and revise whatever sir taught us in the class thank you circle come let's start then yeah sure first we will revise whatever we have learnt about the subtraction till now okay there are certain questions that you need to answer the process of taking away one number from another number is called subtraction The result of subtraction is called difference. For each addition fact, we have two subtraction facts. When zero is subtracted from any number, the difference is the same number. If a number is subtracted from itself, the difference is always zero. Was that right? Yes. That is right. Now we will start with the actual part, dear. Subtraction of four-digit number without carrying. Can you explain this with the help of an example? Yeah, sure, dear. Subtract two thousand six hundred and forty-seven from seven thousand nine hundred and eighty-nine. Arrange the digits. according to their places subtract once 9 minus 7 is equal to 2 write 2 under ones column subtract tens 8 minus 4 is equal to 4 write 4 under tens column subtract hundreds 9 minus 6 is equal to 3 write 3 under hundreds column subtract thousands 7 minus 2 is equal to 5 write 5 under thousands column therefore 7989 minus 2647 is equal to 5342 wow This was so easy circle that is easy dear now we can do the subtraction with borrowing here they completed the subtraction of four digit numbers without borrowing now they started with the subtraction with borrowing here is an example for the same example subtract 2985 from 
arrange the digits according to their places. Subtract once. We cannot subtract five ones from three ones. Borrow one ten from five tens. One ten is equal to ten ones. Ten ones plus three ones is equal to thirteen ones. Subtract once. Thirteen ones minus five ones is equal to eight ones. Subtract tens. Five tens minus one ten is equal to four tens remain in tens column. We cannot subtract eight tens from four tens. Borrow one hundred from six hundreds. One hundred is equal to ten tens. Ten tens plus four tens is equal to fourteen tens. Subtract tens. Fourteen tens minus eight tens is equal to six tens. Write six under tens. Subtract hundreds. Six hundreds minus one hundred is equal to five hundreds. Remain in hundreds column. We cannot subtract nine hundreds from five hundreds. Borrow one thousand from eight thousands. One thousand is equal to ten hundreds. Ten hundreds plus five hundreds is equal to fifteen hundreds. Fifteen hundreds minus nine hundreds is equal to six hundreds. Write six under hundreds. Subtract thousands. Eight thousands minus one thousand. Is equal to seven thousands. Remain in thousands column. Seven thousands minus two thousands is equal to five thousands. Write five under thousand. Therefore, eight thousand six hundred and fifty-three minus two thousand nine hundred and eighty-five is equal to five thousand six hundred. And sixty-eight. They completed both forms of subtraction and even did this part of their homework very easily. After this, they came over to the properties of the subtraction. I'll explain you each property with the help of an example. This way, it would be. Easy for you to understand. When we subtract zero from a number, the difference is the number itself. Wow, this was interesting. Now, next property is as under. If a number is subtracted from itself, the difference is always zero. After completing the properties, now they switched over to word problems. This is the easiest part in the subtraction chapter. But for me, it is not. I get confused whenever such problems appear. Don't worry. I'll help you in this too. I'll explain you this with the help of an example. Example one: The total cost of an encyclopedia and a table is rupees seven thousand five hundred and sixty-nine. The cost of the table is rupees three thousand five hundred and forty. What is the cost of the encyclopedia? Total total cost rupees seven thousand. Five hundred and sixty-nine. Cost of the table, rupees three thousand five hundred and forty. Therefore, cost of the encyclopedia is equal to rupees four thousand and twenty-nine. Now I'll give you an example. You have to answer. Okay? Yeah. Okay. I am ready.
there were 4,940 books in a book stall. 2,820 books were sold in a month. How many books are left in the book stall? Total number of books is 4,940. Number of books sold is 2,820. Therefore, number of books left is equal to 2,120. Rectangle was now able to understand whatever he skipped in the class with the help of his friend Circle. And Circle completed his homework and also revised whatever he was taught in school. Activity Well done! 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 Well done!